So number one, so if x y is this one, show that so x square, so show that x square d square y over d x square plus x d y over d x is equal to y. So we see here, we need to find we can find y from here, and from that you see here d y over d x is the derivation of y, and this one is so you see you get y, from y you can get d y over d x. From dy over dx, when you do derivative, you will get d square y over dx square. So you have to do step by step. So from the equation, you can get y. So here x y minus 2 x square is equal to 3. So x y is equal to, you bring 2 to the right, you get 3 plus 2 x square. So here you get y is equal to 3 plus 2 x square divided by x. So you see here, so there is two method to do derivative. So you see here this one you can get 3 over x plus 2 x square over x. So 3, so here x you can bring up you get negative 1 and this one you can get 2 x. So this is a simpler method but then also if you uh, couldn't see that this one can be simplified you can also use dy over dx is equal to so here would be v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v square. So either way you are using, you will still get the same answer. But I think this one is simpler. Like you can, if you can like do uh, simplify it like this, and this one is easier to differentiate compared to using this one. So you see here y is equal to this one. So here, if I differentiate it, dy over dx is equal to, so when I want to differentiate 3x negative 1, so I multiply the power to the front one, negative 1 times 3, I get negative 3, and then I minus the power with 1, so negative 1 minus 1. And then plus, so 2x, when I differentiate 2x, I get 2. So here, negative 3, x negative 2 plus 2, which is also equal to negative 3 over, so negative 2, we bring it down, plus 2. So this is dy over dx. So I just write here first, dy over dx is equal to negative 3 over x squared plus 2. And y is equal to 3 over x plus 2x. So here you have dy over dx is equal to negative 3 over x squared plus 2. So you wanted to find the second derivative. So to differentiate, you don't want the power to be below. So negative 3 x negative 2 plus 2. So d square y over dx square you get. So to different so when you differentiate this one, negative 2 times negative 3, you get 6 x and then you minus the power with 1, negative 2 minus 1. And 2 will be gone, right? When we differentiate 2, you get 0. So you get 6x negative 3 or 6 over x to the power of 3. You see, you bring it down, the power will be positive. So now we want to prove, is it true that x square d square y over dx square plus x dy over dx? You are supposed to get is equal to y. If you don't, that means your your calculation is wrong somewhere else. So here x will be x square. So d square y over d x square is equal to 6 over x cubed. Plus x dy over dx. So here is dy over dx. So negative 3 over x square plus 2. So here you get x square and x cubed. You can cut to get x. So here. So you cannot, this one you cannot cut just like that. So here you get. 6 over x plus, so this one is x times negative 3 over x square plus x times 2, you get 2x. So here you get 3 over x. So here 6 over x minus 3 over x plus 2x. So here you get 6 minus 3, you get 3 over x plus 2x. So we see here y is equal to 3 over x plus 2x and you get from this equation, you get this, so you can say that this one is proven. Okay. Second, find the value of gradient function. So it's given the value of x for each of the following. So before you have 
before you can substitute you have to find you have to find what is that function itself so you have to differentiate so here this one is first derivative and this one is second derivative so to go to second derivative so from f x you need to find what is the first derivative before you can find the second derivative it's step by step so for a f x is equal to 3x minus 2x cubed so to get first derivative so the first one 3x when you differentiate you get 3 and then you have minus so to differentiate this one you bring the power you multiply with the front one 3 times 2 you get 6 so x and then you minus the power with 1 so here you get 2 so this is your first derivative so it's given find f derivative of 1 and f derivative second derivative of 1 for each of the following function you can directly substitute or you can find the second derivative first so here 3 when you differentiate you get 0 right so 0 you don't have to write because like 0 will be 0 lah so then second one you multiply the front one with the number in front so here 2 times negative 6 you get negative 12 and then you minus the power with 1 so 2 minus 1 you get power of 1 so 1 you don't really need to write lah because x is equal to x power of 1 so here you have the first derivative you have the second derivative so you can substitute so for the first one when first derivative is equal to 1 so you get 3 minus 6 so this one is 1 square so here you get 3 minus 6 because 1 square is 1 so you get negative 3 so here when f second derivative is equal to 1 you have negative 12 this one is 1 so you get negative 12 all right okay so b you have fx is equal to x square 5x minus 3 so we can see this one is product right so you have to use the product rule so this one is u this one is v so first you need to know what is product rule so product rule dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx minus v du over dx so you have to you know what is your u what is your v and you need to have dv over dx and du over dx so u is x square so du over dx is equal to so when you differentiate x square you bring the power forward so x is equal to 1 right so 2 times 1 you get 2x and then you minus the power with 1 you get x to the power of 1 or just 2x so dv over dx so you have 5x minus 3 so when you differentiate 5x you get 5 when you differentiate negative 3 you get 0 so this is it so now since you have all the things need to substitute inside the product rule now you can substitute so your u here is x square so dv over dx is 5 so i'm sorry the formula is plus okay so this one is plus so v is equal to v is equal to 5x minus 3 and then du over dx is 2x so you get 5 times x square 5x square so 5x times 2x you get plus 10x square negative 3 times 2x you get minus 6x so 5 plus 10 you get 15x square minus 6x so we have to find for d square y over dx square as well right okay so you have dy over dx so i just write here dy over dx is equal to 15x square minus 6x so you see here from dy over dx then you can do d square y over dx square second derivative so d square y over dx square the second derivative so you differentiate again so 15x square when you differentiate the power you bring it front and multiply with the number in front 2 times 15 you get 30 and then you minus the power with 1 you get x so negative 6x so when you only have x when you differentiate you take the number in front so this is your second derivative so you see here when the first derivative with x, okay so you just substitute inside here so 5 so x is 1 square minus 6 1 so here you get 
15 minus 6 which is equal to 9. So second derivative when x is equal to 1, so d square y over d x square, second derivative is 30 1 minus 6, so 30 minus 6 is equal to 24. So c, so c f x is equal to x cubed plus x over x square. So you see here this one is all x, so you can get it x cubed divided by x square plus x over x square. So here, when the power is equal and you divide, so you minus the power 3 minus 2 plus, so this one x, see when you cut, you get x, 1 over x is equal to x negative 1. So this one is x plus x negative 1. So first derivative, so when you differentiate x, you get 1. When you differentiate x power negative 1, so negative 1, you bring the power forward. So this one is 1, 1 times negative 1, you get negative. So x, you minus the power with 1, negative 1 minus 1, you get 1 minus x negative 2. Or 1 minus, this one would be 1 over x square. Okay, now you can find second derivative. So to do derivative, we usually make the power up. So you see here, we don't want this one to be below. We bring it up by making the power negative. So when you, when you, uh, uh, when you differentiate this one, so 1 will become 0. So you don't have to write. So this one, negative 2 times negative 1, because negative 1, you get 2, right? So x, and then you minus the power with 1. So negative 2 minus 1. So here 2 x negative 3, you get 2 over x cubed. So you have to find what is the derivative when x is equal to 1. So f derivative of 1 is equal to, so here 1 minus 1 over 1 square. So 1 minus 1, we get 0. So this one, when the second derivative is equal to 1, so we have 2 over 1 cubed. So here we get 2 over 1 which is equal to 2.